All right, so I'm going to go through the troubleshooting steps that I used uh, when I had kind of a unique problem on my uh, water heater here. So you can see this is a White Rogers Intellivent um, module here, and then uh, it is a uh, it's a state select, uh, but really it doesn't much matter the the furnace type. What matters is uh, how you do the ignition here. So this actually has a um, ignition rod uh, with a flame sensor. So this is not like your traditional uh, pilot lit um, uh, water heater. So this is a newer type. Pretty, they're pretty much all this way now so you don't have this little pilot light burning gas all the time. Uh, so basically what I had was I had some lights on this IntelliVent that I'll get to in a second um, and that uh, I did not have any hot water. Okay, so for the first thing that happens is the fan kicks on up here to evacuate the area. So you want to take the access cover off, which I already have. And this is what a good, uh, a good uh, flame rod looks like here. And you can see how easily that lit, okay? The easiest thing to check here is this fan unit. So first you want to hear that fan unit click on. So what that's doing is that's kind of purging the area of any exhaust gases that are still in there before it lights uh, the ignition. So you'll hear it kicked on and you want to make sure that it's not being blocked. Okay, so dead birds and other things can end up clogging this thing up at the exhaust. So a real simple trick here is to find where it's bringing the air in from, the fresh air, which in this case is right here. Now all I did was I put a candle right there, just a little small candle, and when this fan unit turns on, you will notice that flame. In fact, it sucked the flame right out. That means this unit is working good like it should. So. With the issue that I had, uh, where it would basically go into lockout, it would do these, these lights here. A and B and the far left were lit. Okay, so A and B and then the vacation warm were lit. And what that says is that gas supply is off or too low, hot surface igniter not positioned correctly, low voltage to water, heater, electric polarity, and unit is incorrect. So low voltage, electric polarity, I tested the outlet, no issue there. I didn't rewire anything, this thing just happened. So I kind of ruled those two out. Gas supply off or too low could be with a valve issue. And then the hot surface igniter not positioned correctly. So I didn't change the position, but essentially what this isn't telling you is that if that hot surface igniter, if it, if it doesn't get hot enough, then you could also have the problem. So check that out. So what was happening was this fan would kick on and then it would go and try to light this flame three times. And if, if the igniter failed to ignite three times, then it would go into a fault mode. It would lock out. And in order to basically cycle it again, there should be up on the control box, like I showed earlier, there's that switch. So you just turn that off and then back on again and then it should go through another three cycles to try to light okay in my situation I did that several times and in the compartment it never ignited but I could smell a little bit of gas okay so that's good so I know I'm getting some gas uh, so sometimes the valves in here stick and it doesn't allow enough uh, gas in and then it you know tries to ignite it but it won't so what happened in my particular instance was the flame rod was not getting hot enough so it was getting gas but that flame rod wasn't getting hot enough so it wouldn't ignite maybe it would ignite once every several cycles of that switch um, but so it wasn't getting enough it wasn't getting hot enough and that's why I showed you earlier what that flame rod looks like 
when it, because uh, it was glowing, I could see it, but it wasn't getting hot enough to ignite. So that was key in my situation. So I basically replaced the flame rod. Uh, it's an integral unit um, where basically all you do is you come in here, you shut the gas off, of course, you come in here, you take this, uh, this nut off, and then basically this whole thing this whole thing will slide out. See, I have a two burner, I have a big water heater. Uh, so I slid that out and replaced that whole unit, and that ended up fixing the problem.